everybody. Guru Amin here with uh, the newest video on grits, the food grits. Uh, this is my favorite brand. This is Palmetto Farms, all natural, gluten free, non GMO, stone ground white grits. As opposed to Bob's Red Mill organic Valenta corn grits, which are yellow. Okay, so there's two, I like yellow too, but they just taste different and there's two different kinds. For this particular video, we're gonna be doing the white. The white, I've really, really grown favor to this. And we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, why this is a very underrated carbohydrate and why it should be more used by bodybuilders. Okay, so starting to make grits, we're going to make sure that the, uh, Temperature is on high and we have the water here. Use three times the amount of water as you do grits. I have a half a cup of grits. I have a cup and a half of water. I use a little bit more than, than uh, what's suggested. So there's slightly a little bit more than a cup and a half of water here. Um, I do that because of uh, in the simmering process, um, I like my grits to be just a little bit softer. So I cook them just a little bit longer in the simmering part. So basically what you do is you bring the water to a boil. I start with using already uh, hot water that I, I, I boil from the, the hot water heater. And then I use the uh, half a cup of grits and I use a whisk to whisk it in. Okay. So basically what we have is uh, the water is pretty much boiling for close steaming. And I'll go ahead and whisk these in so you can get the idea of how how you gotta whisk it in. Okay, so slowly pour them in, whisk it in, whisk it in. And so they, you, you let the grits boil for a few minutes and while it's boiling, you whisk it like I am right now. And then you bring it down to a very low temperature, continue to whisk it, and then you put the lid on it when it gets, uh, when, it, when it gets a little thicker, you just put the lid on it and you can turn it off at that point or keep it on a very low temperature and just let it cook and simmer. So this is this part of it. And while we're letting these grits cook, let me give you a little bit of uh, explanation on what grits are in the first place. Grits are corn and they're ground up corn. And it's, uh, it's a really, really good source of a carbohydrate. In my opinion, it's a little bit longer lasting than rice. Um, but whenever you're dealing with like cream of rice or grits, which is basically cream corn, um, you're always gonna have it hit you a little bit quicker because it doesn't have to digest as much. So as you see now, it's already boiling and uh, just gonna continue to whisk this, whisk it. And as it boils, it gets a little softer and the water gets to get one side of it. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt. I like to use um, Redmond's Real Salt. This is my favorite sea salt of all the salts. This is actually not a, it's, just, it's a sea salt only because it used to be underwater like millions of years ago, but this is from Utah. And um, it basically, uh, it's a ancient sea salt deposited from Utah back from so many, so many thousands of years ago when Utah was underwater at one point. Uh, and they actually find uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that when all this ice melts and the bones and stuff. Anyway, so Redmond sea salt is what I like to use. And I put in a, a you know, say about a eighth of a teaspoon. We can continue to whisk this stuff in. Grits take a little bit longer to cook than cream of rice, but you basically cook them the same way. Okay. Um, one thing I like about grits are they can be, they were, this was a very cultural thing back, you know, around the time of the civil war. And uh, there was a difference in the way that the Northerners ate the grits and the Southerners ate the grits. Um, my very first time eating grits was going down to the Junior Nationals in 1992 with Don Long and helping him uh, for the Junior Nationals as a light heavyweight. And um, when I did that, I was down there with a, another friend of mine who won uh, my training partner, Steve Johnson. And uh, we stopped at a, at a restaurant to get some grits and uh, I had never had them before. So he ordered them and I was like, you know, what are those? And he's like, oh, they're grits, you never had them. And I'm like, I tried them. 
And so I, I was in North Carolina, so I happened to try them the, uh, the northern way. And uh, the northern way is kind of like, you know, you would have like oatmeal or, or something. So you'd have, it'd have a little sweet with maybe a little bit of uh, milk or, or some, uh, you know, some, some butter and some syrup or something like that. And so that's, that's, that was the northern way of doing it. And then uh, recently I've been down to, to Florida to visit an, uh, an old client of mine, Roger Stone. And I had uh, grits at a diner down there. And at this diner, they were serving uh, grits the, the southern way, which is uh, basically just a little bit of salt and butter. And you would eat that with like a, a steak as a side. So uh, where some people would have rice with a steak, you know, like a rice peel off or a potato, other people would have like a, a bowl of grits. And the grits come out really creamy. If you, if you cook them right, they come out really creamy and um, they have a great texture to them. And you know, you can, you really can eat them anyway. You can, you can have them if you want, put a little bit of honey on it and have it for breakfast if you like stuff sweet or if you like stuff a little salty, uh, you know, you can put a little butter and salt on it and have it for dinner. In the bodybuilding way of doing it, we would replace the butter with, uh, with organic coconut oil um, I got this from Sprouts, but you can get yours anywhere you want. And now it's just about the time to whisk this up a little bit more. And what I like to do right before I, I put the lid on this is I put a little bit of macadamia nut oil. And there's a couple different companies that I use. I've used DC's macadamia nut oil before. I'm trying this brand right now. This is a new brand that I'm trying. I actually just bought it. So uh, this is from France. Whereas um, other countries, uh, there, there are some other different countries that have different mac oil. I've had some from Australia that was really good. And, um, you know, there are, there are other countries that make it. So, okay, so here we go. Put a little bit of mac oil in here and get it back on to a low temperature. Okay. And whisk it just till it starts to boil a little bit more. And this is where you put the lid on it. And so let's talk a little bit about the grits. So basically, um, in a nutshell, the North won the war. And as a result of that, you can get grits up until 2 p.m. at Denny's now. Guru Ramin here, another one on grits. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon.